So, today we are going to animate fire, water, and smoke. Let's start with fire. I found out that there are mainly three methods to animate fire. First one is the wave method, where first you draw a wave something like this, then move the wave upwards after every frame, until you don't make a loop something like this. Then make a circle somewhere at the bottom aligned with the wave. Then make a line to determine the height of the flame. Now all you have to do is that, make flames from the bottom of the circle, to the top line in each frame. But keep in mind to make the flow of flame according to the wave, and try to keep the volume of flame equal in each frame. And the end product should look like this. If you are animating a fire for the first time, then you should start with this method. But for me, it was looking too flat and simple, so I tried in another way, which is the ball method. In this technique you have to make three balls, biggest on bottom and smallest on top. Then in the next frame make them a little up, and as they go up keep reducing their size, until you don't make a complete loop like this. Then lower down the opacity of this layer and make flames as drawn earlier, but this time make them according to these balls, change their shape as the balls move. And at the end it looks something like this. I didn't like this as well, that's why I made a third rough animation where I used both, the wave and the ball method. But in this one, I also animated some flames getting separated from the main body as they go up. And it turned out really good. Then I moved on to the line art. So, I picked a reddish orange color, and started adding details over the rough sketch. To give it a fiery look, all you have to do is, make a curved line, then erase some part of it, then draw a half oval from inside like this. You can also add some more sharp and curved lines like this. But keep in mind to make it go up in every frame, and after some time make it get separated from the fire, and then make it small and disappear. You can also add some tiny embers, to make it look more believable. Many of you ask me that how I edit my videos, that's why today I am going to tell you about Wondershare Demo Creator. It is an amazing app that provides you features like, recording your game plays and your webcam simultaneously. You can also record with webcam with virtual avatars and virtual backgrounds. It has many cool characters that mimic exactly what you do, like when I move my head or say something, the avatar also moves its head, and lip sync with my voice in real time, with help of machine learning. And not only that, later on you can edit your videos in its video editor, with its huge library of effects, transitions, annotations, sound effects and much more. Wondershare Demo Creator is free to try and very easy to use software, like here I took a background, added some text over it from the annotations option, and then I simply added some transitions over it. That's it, and see how cool it is looking. You can download the new version of Demo Creator 6.0 for free, and if you share the videos with tag, present with Demo Creator, three luckies will be chose to gift a premium license, and one lucky guy to gift $100 Amazon cards, the winners will be announced in Demo Creator YouTube channel. So go and download one Assure Demo Creator, click on the first link in the description. Now make a smaller fire inside it, for this one also, repeat the same process as before. This was my first time animating something like this, which can only be animated with straight ahead method, otherwise I always use pose to pose method, and that's why this was my most challenging animation till now. Therefore I use a lot of references for all three animations. Hence it took me a lot of time to make these. Now it's time to color it, paint the bigger fire with a reddish orange color, and smaller fire with yellow. It is hotter from the center than the outside, that's why it is painted with a lighter color from inside, and with a bit darker color from the outside. To make it even better, I gave it a bit darker shade from the top, and a lighter shade from the bottom. For that all you have to do is that, make a patch of the color like this, then pick the eraser and increase the softness to 100%, and decrease the opacity a bit. Then erase it until you don't get this type of smooth gradient, then select it and make it a bit larger, then fit it over the fire like this, and then erase the extra part with the help of selection tool, repeat the same process for rest of the frames as well. To make it even better I also tried the glow effect in Flip Club. Although it is in beta version right now, it still manages to give a decent result. And here is the end result. Now let's animate water. As I always say you should use animation principles in your animations. Therefore first we will determine the line of action. Here it is a straight line from top to bottom. That's why I created the whole rough animation based on that line. I use ease out for the drop falling down. It means in initial frames, drop will be closer to each other. And as the drop goes down the gap between them will start to increase. Then I animated the water splashing on the floor, and then it goes up again a bit, then it comes down, and finally it comes to rest. After completing the rough animation, then I moved on to the line art. For line art, I use a light blue color, but to give it a 3D look, I also used a bit dark blue color for the backside. Then I colored the bottom part of it with a dark blue color, and then I erased it from top to make it look like a gradient. I painted a little bit with green as well, to give it a bit greenish and rivery look. Repeat the same process for droplets as well, but this time erase blue color from the center as well, and add some highlights on the top. Do the same for the rest of the frames as well. And this was the end result. Now it's time to animate the smoke, for this one also, I first made a line of action, here it is an arc. 
While making the rough animation, I was trying to keep it on the same level, that's why I use grid. Here is in will be used, it means in initial frames smoke will be far from each other, and as it moves further, it will start to come closer. And after some frames, smoke will become apart from each other, and at the end it will all disappear. To make smoke, consider these as several circles, some are drawn from inside, and some from outside, you can also draw some different patterns as you like. Now it is looking pretty much smooth, so let's move on to coloring, I used a bluish grey color for it. After painting the whole frame, I always use the selection tool to make the final adjustments. Then I made a new layer and started painting the shadows over it. I considered the light source on the top left side, and then added shadows according to it. After making some more adjustments, here is the end result.